Google just announced something that I think is a bit groundbreaking and new. An LLM can learn itself. We all know that these LLMs, what they do is they train them and then there's a certain date that they stop their training. So they, the large language model doesn't know any more information after that point. But they are announcing a new framework that can nest this learning and it continues to learn. They wrap this application layer with memory and all sorts of stuff. So it sort of knows about you, but that's in the app, not in the, the model. This is a new paradigm. What do you think, Yuli? So they call this in-context learning or nested learning. Uh, um, it's, a, it's a version of continuous learning where normally a, a model does all its foundational learning during the training run, which is a very expensive, a lot of GPUs going burr, um, to basically condense all of the training materials down into what it can understand and becomes a, an aggressive next token predictor. Um, rather than having to run that every now and then, and you know how it's got its like knowledge cutoff date of when that happens. So it, it's, a, uh, it's a condensed version of the internet as of 2022 or whatever, 2024, and anything that happens after that, it doesn't know about. This is, this is hoping to bridge that gap to allow it to continuously learn based on its interactions with the world and just ingesting more information over time. Um, What's interesting is they do it like, uh, you know, the babushka dolls, the Russian dolls, where you've got like nested dolls, one inside the other. Yep. They have layers where the outside layer is like all the users interacting with it and new stuff that pops up on the internet and all that. And then that goes through to a, a layer, one, one layer in, which tries to work out, right, how important is that information? Is that information grounded or is it just someone's opinion? Is this something that I should update my core beliefs based on? Uh, and then that will filter through to the next layer and the next layer and the next layer until it has like right at the, the very middle, it's got its sort of, real axioms of what, what it understands about the world. So it's an interesting idea. Um, it probably has to end up going this way eventually because you can't keep doing these ever bigger and bigger training runs every couple of years um, to, to update its information. But it also can't just rely on RAG, right, on, on retrieval augmented generation of, of pulling information from the internet to answer a question every time. So this is a, a great intermediary that could solve that problem. It does require a lot of GPUs going burr all the time, though, doesn't it? It is. It's the self-learning uh, device. Us human beings are self-learning. We we make mistakes and we learn. Um, and this is also a very big part of the way that robotics are going to evolve as well, because that's the big thing is that uh, us humans, as we grow up, we fall over and, and we learn. All the labs are working on this, and Google's announcement is just a big salvo across the bow to all the competitors. So watch this space. Need help with AI solutions? Click on the channel link and follow the link tree.